Is it possible that a physical location can experience such evil that long after the evil has occurred, the remnant remains? On this episode of The Soul Trap, we talk about the haunted castle of Ireland, the mother of darkness, and the evil that remains in time. Is it possible that a place, an actual geographical place locked in our time-space continuum, can actually experience such evil that there is a residual effect of evil left in that location? Could it be that just as there are holy places, sacred and set apart by the Lord himself, that there are locations that are of equal importance to the dark lords? who operate within the context of Ephesians chapter 6. Could crimes of passion, sins of perversion, and doorways between the worlds be open to the point that long after those events in time occurred, the aftertaste lingers, the shadows cast, stretching across the years, memories etched into the fabric of our world linger and haunt those places. Ghosts of time, spectral glimpses of the horror that once was, and still is. If it is possible that there are places like this, the haunted castle in Ireland may be a case indeed. While there is actual no empirical evidence, there is enough experience and stories of the castle to warn those who may cross the threshold of its grand halls to enter at one's own risk. It was built by the O'Bannon clan and was originally called the Leap of O'Bannons. Lore and legend tells us that this ancient castle was founded in blood. The brothers, O'Bannons, fought over who would claim the castle and who would lead the clan. So they decided to settle the matter by leaping from a nearby lofty rock. The survivor would be the leader. For all of their efforts, the O'Bannons would eventually lose the castle to the O'Carrolls by way of a violent takeover. But the new owners did not bring new peace. In fact, the years ahead at this castle would be filled with blood and chaos. In one family squabble, a brother actually stormed into the main hall and thrust a sword through the back and heart of his brother, who was a priest and performing a mass. Some have even speculated that the castle itself was built upon the ground of dark ancient magic sites and druid covens. Some the apparitions and sites that people have claimed to be seen are said to be from the McMahon clan, who won a victory and was actually hosted by the O'Carrolls, only they were not as happy about the victory and poisoned the food. In fact, they watched, as the legend goes, as the McMahons choked and vomited and died in agony from the poison. These ghosts, these remnants of horror, are said to still be seen at the castle at times. One of the most gruesome things that have come to light is the room in the corner, a room that is underground and only accessed by a trap door. It seems that unwitting victims of the dark castle would stand on the trap door and upon command find themselves falling into a pit of spikes. In fact, when excavators searched the underground room, three carts of human bone were filled and taken away. It seems upon inspection that it was designed for the victims not to die immediately, but for the sounds and screams of their agony to fill the hall. It was the agony of torture that was piped through the halls of this dark castle. There is also the red-haired lady, a ghost that is rumored to be seen often in the castle. A ghost who has been seen with red hair and a cloak walking through the halls with her dagger in hand, It is said she was captured and held there against her own will. She was assaulted, and from that sexual assault bore a child as a result. She was so distraught that she found a knife and killed the child and herself. Is it possible that this kind of human hurt, this kind of perversion, imprints itself in time and location? Is it possible that like a stain on a carpet, the agony of sin and the horror of humanity can stain the fabric of reality and leave itself there riveted to the place 
where others are able to see, feel. Through a glass dimly, yes, but the results of such force and sadness still there. Is it possible? Mildred Darby believes so. She was an author and a practitioner of the dark arts. She regularly held seances there and practiced occultism at the castle. That is, until she actually found what she was looking for. She claims to have encountered a dark and vile spirit on a particular night with black cavernous eyes and the stench of rotting flesh about it. It was far more than she could have imagined. Interestingly, since then, an Irish musician named Sean Ryan has bought the castle and plays his haunting Irish ballads throughout the echo chamber of the Grand Castle. One wonders if he does not do so to appease the angry specters that flutter through the darkness of the night. So if you ever go to Ireland, make sure to check out the dark and haunted castle. Just watch where you stand. You may find that all the trap doors have not been discovered and your cries, blended with the winds of Ireland, become part of the imprint of time. And now you become part of the legend of Leap Castle. But there are other castles, some less known, some less known to us, but well known to the darkness that surrounds us. One castle is what has come to be known as the Castle of the Mother of Darkness. According to Wikipedia, the Chateau de Amoroy is the 19th century neo-Gothic style castle in the Ardennes Forest, southeast of Bouillon, Belgium. Replacing an original building destroyed by fire, the current castle was built from 1874 to 1877 for Prince Philippe, Count of Flanders. However, Wikipedia does not tell you that this has also been called the Castle of the Mother of Darkness, and rumored that it is a bastion for dark programs such as MK Ultra, the Occult, Illuminati, and the Dutro Conspiracy. According to some sources, several U.S. presidents have actually visited here as well. And then there is the last known owner, Alice Solvay. Her family has connections into pharmacology, or what the Bible terms, sorcery. In an article written on the millennialreport.com, the author states, This castle, according to Springmeyer, is a center of the occult, and has a cathedral with a dome containing a thousand lights. The castle is referred to as the mother of darkness, and monarch programming is supposedly performed on children there. In fact, there are rumors of what are called children hunts that have taken place on the secreted grounds of the ancient castle, and it still seems to play a role within the occult. George Bush is rumored to have referred to it in his notorious Thousand Points of Light speech. I've spoken of a thousand points of light. And the fact is that Belgium has for many a long year played a role in the dark arts and secret perversions of Europe. Some even believe that Brussels is the epicenter of the global sex traffic trade and occultism of children. Barry James, International Herald Tribune, wrote an article. A massive pedophile network came to light and was hushed up, and 20 key witnesses quote-unquote committed suicide in Belgium. The question is, is there a Belgium pedophile scandal, he writes in his article, and did authorities cover up its scope? He and others answer resoundingly, yes. Well, regardless of what's your take on the castle of Leap or on the Mother of Darkness or on Epstein's Island, Wayfair Shipping or Pizzagate, there is a darkness out there. There is something that has been creeping around for centuries, only now it is no more creeping in the dark corners of the globe, but rather it is coming out in the broad daylight. In an article written in 2018, the same author states that they started seeing the term MAP, M-A-P, used and was confused until they looked into it just a bit. A MAP, M-A-P, was not by any means indicating navigation or a request for directions. The author states it's something much more horrific. Map is an initialism. It's a self-created code by the proud individuals it represents. What does map stand for cropping up here and there? It stands for minor attracted persons, pedophiles. 
Adults sexually attracted to and aroused by minor children. This is their self-identifier, M-A-P. So here we are, folks. The mother of darkness has spawned her children, and the castle of Leap has indeed taken us into some very dark worlds, places, locations that ooze the sickness and sin of the other side. Dark castles with darker stories. Sleep tight and watch where you stand. You don't want to end up being someone's tortured entertainment for the night. You block I'm going to say hello.